Hi, my name is Akim Ika, and in five minutes, I want to give you a solid understanding of what the grace of God is all about. In simple words, the word grace means unheard goodness, undeserved goodness. It means you get the good you don't deserve. So that means you haven't worked for something, you didn't earn it, yet you receive it. That's where the concept of grace comes from. And in John chapter 1, verse 17, the Bible says the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. The, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in form of a person, the incarnation of God, brought and exposed and made us have a bigger revelation of what the grace of God is all about. And uh, the reality of that happened much more on the cross. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, the Bible says God made him who knew no sin to become sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. That simply means Jesus took the bad he didn't deserve so that today you can enjoy God's grace, getting the good you don't deserve. And this powerful truth is the gospel of Christ. That no matter who you are, no matter where you are from, the grace of God has appeared unto all men. That's what the Bible says in the book of Titus chapter 2. And now you can receive the good you don't deserve because Jesus took all the bad he didn't deserve. I know we are in a world whereby everything runs based on performance. Your boss at work wants you to perform well or else you won't be promoted. If you perform well, you're promoted. If you don't perform well, you're demoted. And every other thing runs on performance. When you are good, you get good. When you do something bad, you get something bad in return. But when it comes to the grace that came through Jesus Christ, and think Jesus, think grace. Anytime you think about the word grace, let Jesus come to your mind. Why? Because what Jesus did once and for all has made available for you and for me the good we don't deserve for the rest of our lives. And that simply means when you get born again, Apart from the fact that God forgave all of your sins, every single one of them. Psalm 103 verse 3 says, He will forgive all my sins and heal all my diseases. Apart from the fact that God forgave your sins, He also gave you a gift called the gift of righteousness. So think about it like this. Before you got saved, you were dead in your sins. You were a sinner. So Jesus took your sins. The moment you believe in Him, He did not just take and forgive your sins. He now gave you what you never had in the first place, the gift of righteousness. Salvation is a gift of grace. God gave unto every one of us what we don't deserve. We all deserved hell because of our sins, but God, God gave us heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what grace is all about. Anytime you think about grace, think about Jesus. You can't even understand grace if you don't bring Jesus into the picture. And that's why at times you see people misquote and have a wrong understanding of the word grace. People think grace is an abstract word that somebody coined. Nobody coined the word grace. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. So the fact that Jesus came into the picture, you know, before Jesus came into the picture, once upon a time, you have to try to achieve your way to God. However, even under the law, the best of men were still disqualified. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, Verse 21, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness can be achieved by the law, Christ died in vain. That simply means it is you trying to frustrate the grace of God today when you are still trying to achieve your way to God when you can receive your way to God, to our Lord Jesus Christ. So anytime you think of the word grace, think about Jesus. That is why we today we pray in the name of Jesus. Why? Because God's relationship with us today is based on God's goodness. Another way to define grace to you is, you see, the opposite of grace is works, law, performance. So once upon a time, in order to receive from God, you have to perform. You have to earn your way to receive it. In. But today we pray in the name of Jesus. And that's why we don't pray in your name. Because today God is not dealing with you based on what you deserve, but based on what Jesus deserves. Today when God looks at you, God sees his beloved son, Jesus. The Bible says, as Jesus is... So are you in this world. I'm trying to rush this thing because I have five minutes to make you understand this. But let me wrap everything up together in simple terms. Grace of God came through Jesus Christ. And if you're a born-again believer, I want you to understand God's way of communicating, of dealing with you is by grace. God is not looking at you and imputing your sins to you. Because if God imputes your sins to you, then that is no longer grace. 
and the reason why god will not impute your sins to you today is not because god is now gen to anything goes no god is still holy the reason why the holy god will not impute your sin the born again believer to you again is because god imputes your sin on the body of our lord jesus christ so now that jesus has taken your sins now you must take his righteousness and that's what god gave you as a gift when you got born again you are now the righteousness of god god gave you the holy spirit as a gift of grace in galatians chapter 3 paul will ask did you receive the holy spirit by in quote trying to achieve it or by just hearing of it and the answer is hearing of it when you hear the good news of christ you receive the good you don't deserve and that's what the grace of god is all about it is on hand undeserved goodness anytime you want to ever pray keep in mind I want to receive this by grace. I may not deserve it, but because of what Jesus has done, I'm going to receive it from God because God now deals with me based on His grace. Glory to God. I think I'm up. I, I, I just spent more than five minutes, but I hope you understand what grace is all about. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment section. I'll try and answer your question. And God bless you.